In this video, I'm going to show you five ways to easily remove backgrounds all in one click in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocenti and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. So gone in the days in Photoshop CS6 and then the rest, the CS4 and all that is where you'd have to actually pick something like the polygonal axo tools and try to go around your images like this. No, it is not done in the current updated versions of Photoshop. So we are going to explore the tools that you can use to easily remove backgrounds in Photoshop. Now I have these three images just so we can implement or try these tools with each of them so that you don't end up saying that just because it is a solid background that is why it works. So let's quickly start from the very basics. Now these tools are going to basically be according to the type of image that you have at a particular moment. So the first basic tool that we would explore is the magic eraser tool now with the magic eraser tool when you have a background like this that is very simple and plain you can use this tool to easily remove the background so with a click you left you pick your magic eraser tool it is under the eraser so you pick the magic eraser tool with a click left click it is going to remove the entire background simple like that right and then you realize that it leaves some here so you can come and click on that click on this one as well and in less than three seconds you have your background removed now the downside of this tool is that if you zoom carefully in here you realize that it leaves some sort of not so good edges so you can use the refined edge to fix this issue if you use the magic eraser tool but in a very basic way it gets the job done for you in a very quick process so if you have to use the magic tool on a project like this it is not really going to do you very good so that is when the next set of tools comes in the next set of tools that we are going to explore is the object selection the quick selection tool so we have the object selection tool the quick selection tool and the magic wand selection tool now i'm using photoshop 2021 so if you are using anyone later than this you might not actually have some of these tools so you might have to upgrade to make use of all of these ones let's explore with the object selection tool now once you pick the object selection tool you can select from this angle and then it is going to using the ai it is going to select the object alone for you so any object that it sees and where you made the selection it is going to select that object for you and as you can see over here it has selected our object or our image for us and with the help of the invest selection by pressing ctrl shift and then i you can quickly invest the selection and by hitting on delete your background will be completely deleted and then if you check this as compared to the magic selection tool this actually does it way better than the magic eraser tool a bit but of course this also has a downside so whilst your selection is still active you can use the refined edge that is the selected mask over here go to the refined edge so you click on the selected mask go to the refine here you can smoothen it up so you can smoothen it over here like that and then increase the radius a bit also to about 0.5 or a maximum of one and then you can click ok and then you can actually hit on the delete a couple of times to get the edges refined for you now let's apply the object selection tool on this particular image so let's make a selection from here and let's see what it comes out with so you realize from here that it selects the image very well but since this image has a bit of hair lines around the edges it doesn't do the job for us very nicely but let's explore this on the third image here we are going to make the selection on the image so you make sure that it selects around the image or the particular object that you want to remove and it doesn't really apply to images only it can be applied to all other type of objects in a particular canvas so this is what it does in the third image and then you realize that from the third image it does it way better so we can apply it on this one that said we move to the next two that is the quick selection tool so by choosing the quick selection tool you can go around your image and this works especially if you have a plain background or a solid background like this one so you make your selection around now you realize from here that the selection has gone in so you can use these options here to open up and add more selection to it 
so by holding alt you can easily bring this one to the edge of the ear if that is what you want it or if that is how you want it so if you go overboard you can hold alt and then you see this minus sign and then you are going to bring all the parts that went in so if it goes overboard like this as well you can as well use the plus over here to add it so something like that so you can take your time to do it one after the other and this like i said in the very beginning depends on the background that you are using and then by holding shift you can make more selections over here so you can select the two at the same time and by hitting on delete your background is gone so in actual sense a quick selection tool wouldn't be an ideal tool to to be used on an image like this or this one per se so that is when the fourth one comes in this is the magic one selection tool so when you pick the magic one selection tool it basically works like the magic eraser tool with a left click it is going to make a selection around your image for you like so and then by holding alt you can make one more selection over here and then you can hit delete and your image is gone now since it works just like the magic eraser tool you realize that it has a similar quality so you can see the edges and then you would have to take your time to fix that one as well let's go ahead and apply it on this particular one and see so magic one tool and then we are going to make a selection and then this is what we have it is not so good so it is not the very best for us let's apply it on the third one so we make a selection and since it actually deals with pixels you'd realize that since i clicked over here it made selections around the mountainous areas so it is not an ideal tool to be used when you have an image like this and, and that is when the next option comes in you realize that when you pick in one of these object selection to the quick selection tool or the magic one selection tool you realize that you have two options here select subject and then select and mask now the select subject pretty much works like the first tool that we use the object selection tool so once you click on select subject over here it is going to use the ai to detect the object or the subject in the image that you have at the moment so once you click on this automatically it is going to make a selection for you so this is what we have you realize that it works just like the object selection tool so you don't want to make the selection yourself you just pick any of the three tools that is the object selection tool the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool and then you can click on the subject over here now if, if you pick any other tool you're not going to have that option so you make sure that the this particular tool is selected and just like the object selection tool control plus shift plus i and then you can remove your background now when you zoom in critically from here since this used the ai feature in the late 2020 and 2021 versions of photoshop so comparing this to the likes of the magic eraser tool and then even the object selection tool you realize that this does an extra job for you and it is a great tool that i've been using recently in my project and then it helps you speed up your process so let's apply it on this one and let's see so we go for the quick selection tool and we select subject so now this is what we have so control plus shift plus i and let's delete this and let's see what we have now you realize that with this it does an incredible job because you realize the headlines from here are all nicely cut out these tiny headlines here are even cut out this tool is a magical tool honestly so you can use this select subject tool to and it pretty much works on all type of images so let's apply it to the third one and see so control plus shift plus i and then delete okay so let's zoom in here now you can see what it has done over here and it's it's an incredible tool honestly because it does all the extra works that you do when you pick any of these tools for you so it is a very magical tool that you can use now this is a bonus tip and it's more or less like the select subject and it's powerful really really powerful i believe it works more than the select subject so let's explore that now once you have this your image of course if you bring it in and then you have your lock you're going to get the locks off or you're going to unlock it and then you go to window properties and then with your properties basically you are going to see this quick actions over here so you're going to click on this arrow and then it is going to give you two options we have the select subject which we just explored and then the remove background now with a click this is going to remove entire background for you and it's going to refine the edges for you so let's click on that 
and let's see so you realize that the difference between this and then the sub the select subject is that select subject will first of all select the image or the subject for you and you are going to have to do the work yourself but this does everything for you and it even gives you a layer mask now compare this to the previous ones that we've actually explored and you realize that this look at the edges over here it does an amazing work let's explore it on this one so we move background just look at what we have here brilliant it is very similar to the select subject though but then this does some incredible and amazing work that you can use to save time for your work and this is how it looks like on the third image isn't this just amazing and you can do all this in one click this is brilliant so yeah those are some of the tools that you can use to easily remove backgrounds in photoshop and it will make your work so easy and fast and note that most of these tools are coming up from the 2020 and then the upper one so starting 2019 2020 and the 2021 2022 versions of photoshop if you are in cs6 cx4 cx5 i'm sorry this might not actually work and that you have to actually upgrade if you ask me i've been using 2021 for the past eight months or so and if you ask me is it worth the upgrade i would surely tell you that it is worth the upgrade because there are so many things that you can explore from these versions of photoshop so yeah that's it for this video i hope this video was helpful if it was subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated and if you want to see more of in-depth video like this where we pick a particular tool and explore it into details like this let me know in the comment section and i'll be doing more of this thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye